Hello developers, today we are going to build an artificial intelligence based breast cancer prediction model. By the end of this video, you will have a working predictor that you can customize and use in your own project. AI powered breast cancer prediction model is used to do early stage detection for breast cancer and helps in identifying it as malignant or benign. You will also build a similar AI solution today. We'll be using a candy kit to build this AI solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy One Click Install Kit gives you ready to deploy solution with complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, gaming, blockchain and many more on candy. Today we'll be using a popular candy kit which is breast cancer prediction one click install kit. Now this kit is open source with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for hands-on walkthrough. Hello, hope you all are excited to build your own artificial intelligence model on breast cancer prediction with us today. To build this model, you would require the following. First of all, a data set that you will use to train the model. Second, you will need to apply some exploratory data analysis on the data set to check what are the different features that you can use to classify a tumor as malignant or benign. Third, we will use the support vector classification to train the, uh, the model on the training data set. And then finally, we will evaluate this model and use metrics such as accuracy, precision, recall, and confusion metrics to state how well and accurately was your model able to predict a tumor as cancerous or non-cancerous. Everything that you need is already available in the candy kit. So let's get started. Let's start by installing the candy kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisites and resources. You can download the installer here and you can follow the instructions here to set this kit up. Now you can pause this video to complete the installation. Once ready, hit resume and we'll jump right into building the artificial intelligence model. If you have successfully set up, you will see this Jupyter notebook. Let's have a closer look at the notebook. First up, we will import the necessary libraries. From sklearn, we will also get our toy data set, which is your load breast cancer. We are using to do all this analysis on the breast cancer prediction. Further, we will do exploratory data analysis by analyzing the essential features, which are 13 present in this data set. Further, we will also check the target features, which are your uh, malignant and benign for the output variables. So we will either have the tumor as malignant, which is cancerous or benign, which is non-cancerous. We can see that here. After that, I will split this data into training and testing. So if you see this test size specifically mentions as 0.3, which means that I am reserving 70% data for training and 30% for testing. After that, I have used my support vector classifications uh, kernel as linear so that I get, you know, one of the best efficiencies since my data set is also of linear format right after choosing or I, after using the particular model for generating it we will train our data set on that particular model we'll fit our uh, model onto that training data set once we finish that we will work on the prediction part so we will use the dot predict function for it after we have applied all this we want to finish evaluating the model to see how well our model has performed. So we have used metrics such as accuracy. We have used precision, recall and confusion metrics. And we can see that with the hyperparameter kernel in support vector classification, I'm getting an accuracy of 96%, precision of 98% and recall of 96% as well. And based on the confusion metrics, I am able to state that there are two plus four records which are in error, which is pretty much very less in number 
and with a little bit tuning you can improve upon these parameters right so i hope this helps you evaluate and understand this use case to customize it better for your usage now you have a working ai powered breast cancer prediction model let's now see how you can customize this solution so to customize it you can first of all vary your test size from 30% you can experiment with 25% as your test size rerun the model and see if there is some improvement in the accuracy that has been provided by this model so we see that not much has changed and also if you go for the confusion matrix somewhere uh, the splitting the change in the split was also not huge since i only changed it to 25% so you can make a change here as well as go for maybe 20% as the split to see if the splitting i mean this is something that we'll have to hit and try and see so recession value from 77 to 78 has surely increased and since precision and recall are inversely proportional the recall value has somewhere reduced and we can see even the splitting has resulted in a better output in the confusion matrix you see we were having four plus two errors i mean that that means that six records were in error but now we have five records in error similarly since uh, this was a toy data set and i knew that it was of linear type you can change your kernel as a parameter here from linear you can check that there is an option to change it to poly and you can change it to other categories like gaussian rbf model as well so with whichever model it is more convenient you can input this kernel value change this hyperparameter as well also experiment with the random state value which can help you uh, get better performance and also customize uh, in fact the data set as well that we are particularly loading from here you may also customize uh, based on if you have a curated data set that has been annotated by medical professionals with all these characteristics right so i with this i hope uh, you have your own working prediction uh, breast cancer prediction model which you can customize as per your requirement thank you everyone Hope you found this session useful. Using Candy Kits is a great way to build AI prediction engines. You can find the link to the breast cancer prediction kit and many other ready to use kits in the description below. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on artificial intelligence, augmented reality, blockchain and many more. Try out Candy Kits now. Hit that subscribe button and join the Open Weaver community of developers to learn more and to build many more incredible projects. Thank you for watching this session. Till the next one. Bye-bye.